Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I'm kind of on a clock kick lately, and I'm going to show you how to easily turn an old saw blade into a clock. You'll need a quartz clock movement like this one. They're available for less than $10 in most craft and hobby shops. Hobby Lobby sells a four pack if you really want to drive Captain Hook crazy. This movement came from Hobby Town for $8. They're made for a particular face thickness. The face of the clock is where the numbers go, and this saw blade is an eighth inch thick, so that's the face thickness. Make sure your movement has a long enough shaft to mount properly. Also, this little threaded shaft is 5 sixteenths in diameter, and the hole in the blades is typically 5 eighths. So you can do a couple of things. You can easily eyeball the movement in the center of the blade, and then find a washer that fits and tighten the nut to hold it. But it might slip. So I made a little green 3D printed bushing that centers the blade on the shaft and holds it against the movement. This kit came with hands that can be used either black or silver, but I ended up designing my own hour and minute hands and 3D printing them. The one thing to watch when you design your own hands is that the center of gravity of the hand needs to be located in the hole. That's why these hands have large counterweights on the opposite side. The hands don't weigh much, but these little movements don't have much torque and the hand should be designed to require the least amount of effort to turn. Placing the CG at the axis is ideal. The one design flourish here is the hole in the minute hand that allows the hour hand's counterweight to show through when the hands are aligned. The hands just press onto the shaft and the minute hand is secured by this little nut. The second hand then presses into the tiny shaft in the center and that's it. Tick tock. Now, I recommend that you get a blade with 60 teeth for obvious reasons. But this old blade only had 40 teeth, so it made it a bit harder to position the numbers. These numbers are of course 3D printed, and I used the slots in the blade to position my 3, 6, 9, and 12. Then I simply placed the next number every 5 ticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This kept me from having to make a positioning jig for these other 8 numbers. Epoxy keeps the numbers in place, and I'll go back and clean up the excess once it's cured. Of course, a 60 tooth blade would have simplified all this considerably. I think it looks really nice. This one is for Alex's room. This is something you can definitely do yourself, just don't be afraid to try. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.